Hey there guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at the standard case from TAC for the iPhone 16 Pro Max. And a big thanks to TAC for sending these out for so The case we're taking a look at today is the standard case 4.0. This is gonna come in two different colors. So you've got Arctic Frost and Granite Frost. This is gonna come in at a price of $29.99. Now I also have a code you can use for 10% off if you're interested in this. I'll leave that link down below in the description. Now, uh, some quick info on this. It is a super minimalist case. This is gonna be 0.7 millimeters thin and 13 to 15 grams in weight. So it's super thin and super light. Now, in addition, it's gonna offer you the same things you expect in a case, camera protection and screen protection. And it's just not gonna add very much to the phone at all, which is really, really nice. So because these are so thin, the MagSafe ring is really not necessary. A traditional case that you, bet you may buy it's gonna be a little bit thicker, so it needs to have that extra magnet on the case itself so you can use max of accessories. But with this, you really don't need it. It's super duper thin. Now they do have it here as well. I believe it's extra if you do have to get this, but you can get that magnetic ring and it just sticks on the back of the case if you need it. But because it is so thin, you may not need it at all. Now the Arctic Frost is my personal favorite just because it goes really well with the white titanium. But as you can see, it has that nice frost on the case. And then the other thing that's very interesting about this is how they did the camera. Normally you'd have just the entire camera cut out here. You wouldn't have anything around the lenses or around any of the, you know, flash LiDAR or microphone or anything like that. So this is just a very interesting design. But in addition, you have some really nice precise cutouts, which I definitely appreciate. So you can see our power button. We do have a full cutout for the camera button. On the bottom, you can see they cut out individual holes for the speaker and mic, which I really like. And then as you can see on the other side, the action button and volume buttons. Now again, this is super thin, super light, has a nice little bit of rigidity to it. We'll go ahead and pop our phone and take a quick look at it. So again, if you like minimalist cases, this is definitely the one to look at. So you can see the white titanium looks absolutely beautiful with this nice frost color. And then you can see what I mean by that camera covering. You can see it goes around each individual lens as well as around the LiDAR and the flash. So here it is from the side. You can see it does have that raised lip of protection around it. And same thing around the front. You have that nice little raised lip around the front edge to protect the screen. It's going to work just fine with screen protectors also, but if you don't use that, you don't need it. You have a little bit of protection. So if you happen to put it down on the table, not going to scratch your screen or anything like that. And then taking a look here, you can see just how thin this is. You can still see that titanium through the side of the frame. Looks absolutely gorgeous. Here's how that camera control is gonna look and everything works just fine. So you still have that capacitive touch through the case. So that's gonna work just fine. Nothing on top of course here. And then just showing you again, those individual cutouts for the speaker and mic. I think that looks great. And then our cutout for our USB-C right there. And as I mentioned, this is gonna be compatible with MagSafe no problem because it's so thin. So here's a little MagSafe charger. As you can see, that thing is not going anywhere. So it's gonna work just fine with MagSafe accessories. But again, if you feel the need, you can get that extra MagSafe ring, pop that in the back of the case. It's gonna help it adhere a little bit better if you have any trouble with certain accessories. And here's a quick look at our granite frost. So again, this is just gonna be uh, that nice frosted look. And this is just a smokier version of it. It still looks good with the white, but maybe it would look better with the darker colors. And this one also will help you kind of see how this looks with the camera. So if you take a close look right there, you can see how it goes around each lens, the flash and everything there, but you still have that nice raised lip around the camera as well. Same thing on the front. You've got a nice little raised lip going all the way around, not going to interfere with screen protectors or anything like that. Here's a quick look at the side here. You can see the titanium frame right through. Button covers are nice and clicky. Everything, of course, is going to work really well here. And then there's that camera cutout. Those perfect cutouts for the speaker mic and USB-C. And just a really nice looking case overall. And again, MagSafe works perfectly. So personally, I'm definitely a fan of this case. I think it looks great. Feels great in the hand. Super light, super thin. Going to offer just the amount of protection that you need. And if you're into the minimalist style cases, definitely one to look at. Now me, I don't really trust myself with my phone, so I may need a little bit more, but honestly, I may use 
the Arctic Frost. I think this one looks really, really nice. Um, so there you guys have it. A quick look at the standard case 4.0. And again, 10% off with a code down in the description. If you guys have any questions or comments on this, feel free to leave them down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one.